Hey there, in this video we're going to be talking about relationships and that's relationships between two tables. So in the previous video we created a customers table and we got information about that customer and let's say that we also had an orders table and we wanted to create a relationship between that customer and the order table uh, and that's what we're going to show you in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and open up SQL Pro and I'm just going to manually create a new table called orders and I will give this another customer ID row and this is what is referred to as a foreign key because this key refers to the ID in the customers table so whenever you create a an integer that or any type of row that correlates to a unique ID in another table it's referred to as a foreign key so the next row that I will create is I'll just give it a name I'll do varchar50. So it's a very simple table. You'd probably have a lot more if you had an actual orders table, but just for simplicity's sake and to show you how this works, I'm just going to have these three rows in our orders table. Okay, and the next thing that we'll want to do is go into our code and I'm going to copy our customer model. So I'm going to copy and create a new file and I'm going to save this as order.php. and I will want to make sure that this has a class of order and I will save that. Okay, and I'm gonna go back to the database and you can see in our customers table we have two customers, that's Tony and Bob, and I'm gonna create a couple orders just manually. So we know that Tony has an ID of one and Bob has an ID of two. So I'm going to create a new order with customer ID one and just call this my first order. Now we'll create another one with customer ID of one and I will call this awesome order and then I will create another one with customer ID of two and I will just give this a name of Bob's first order. So we know that this is going to relate to Bob since Bob's ID is ID two. So I will go back into my code and I will go to my HTTP and my route file and I'm gonna create a new route and just call this order. Actually, I'll just call it orders. Okay, so if I say orders equals app slash order, I could say all, and then I could print out each of my orders. And I could just echo out the order name. And let's go ahead and just test out this route. So I will go to my localhost 8000 slash orders. And we have my first order, awesome order, and Bob's first order. So then let's also say that we wanted to uh, print out who this was ordered by. Um, you know, we, we would have to look up the order ID so we could say uh, customer equals and then so we would look up the uh, customer based on the order ID so we could say app slash customer find and then we could say order customer underscore ID and now we have the customer object so we could say this order we could say ordered by customer name so if I save that and reload we can see that it says my first order ordered by Tony awesome order ordered by Tony and Bob's first order ordered by Bob so we could always do it that way but an easier way that we could do that is to create a relationship so we know that an order is going to belong to a customer. So one thing that we could do inside of our order model is we could create a relationship. So we will create a public function and we'll just call this customer. And we're going to return this belongs to and we will say app slash customer and this automatically builds the relationship for us so we know that inside of our orders table we have a customer underscore ID that refers to the customer ID in the customers table so instead of this code that we created right here what we could simply do is just 
remove that and now we could say order customer name and if we reload this page you can see that we get the exact same result so we have that our order name ordered by and so you can see that inside of our orders object we could store we have basically the customer the customer object so we automatically have this relationship so we could say what's the order name and who is this ordered by we could say order customer name so it's very simple and let's say that we have our customer object and we want to know how many orders that they have uh, we could do that by creating the other relationship so we know that a customer is going to have many orders so we could create a public function orders and we could return this as many app slash order and I will save that and we have a route here that you type in customer slash and the customer ID so I am going to go ahead and just get the orders so I'll say orders equals customer orders is that what we called it yes okay orders so now I could say for each orders as order order name and I might want to echo out yeah we have a break right there okay so if I go to this route what we're saying is that we uh, get the customer object and then we say hello my name is and we say the customer name then we get all the orders for this customer and then we list out all of the orders so let's go ahead and test that out so we go to localhost 8000 slash customer slash one and this is customer Tony and he has my first order and awesome order so then let's go to customer slash two and sure enough we have hello my name is Bob and Bob's first order so you can see just how powerful it is to create these relationships then we if we have a customer object we can get all their orders if we have an order object we can get all the, we can get the customer that it belongs to and this is what is referred to as a one-to-one -one relationship and there are a few other relationships that you can learn about at the Laravel documentation uh, but that's just a basic overview of how relationships work in Laravel